hi guys welcome to my channel it's a girl shaki and i'm back with another video if you're new here welcome to the family don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because if i post a new video you'll be the first person to see it and if you're a returning subscriber i love you so much thank you so 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 much now today we're going to talk about the different vaginal discharge colors and what they indicate first of all vaginal discharge is common and it can happen at any age but especially after puberty we always have the normal discharge and the abnormal one of course based on so many things like the color the smell you know the consistency the turn of the menstrual cycle and by the end of this video we shall be able to differentiate between the normal one and the abnormal one and if you happen to have the abnormal one what you can do about it now the first color we're going to talk about is the gray vaginal discharge color the gray color indicates you have a bacterial vaginal infection not a sexually transmitted one but an infection that is brought by the imbalance of the ph of the vagina the moment the ph of the vagina becomes alkaline when it rises you get this kind of infection what the things that actually bring this kind of infection are things you can avoid for example douching using you know soap oil washing the vagina um using feminine wipes you're literally use, you're literally supposed to use plain water to clean the vagina and of course in case you've not had it but you've been doing these things to clean your vagina you should stop now the good news is this is very much treatable and it's curable you can get antibiotics to manage this kind of infection and you get rid of this gray discharge now the second discharge is the pink or red discharge now of course if you get this kind of discharge at the beginning of your menstrual cycle if or if you're expecting your menstrual period then it's nothing to worry about because that definitely indicates you're expecting your periods you know in a few days and it's like an indication you should get your pads ready and if you still happen to get this kind of discharge at the end of the menstrual you know period it's still normal sometimes it actually turns kind of red brown that indicates like when your blood like when your blood flow you know kind of reduces at the end of the period the blood takes longer to leave the vagina so it gets oxidized in there and it will leave like you know as a brown discharge so it's literally nothing to worry about then the other case when you can have this kind of discharge is the post coital bleeding post coital bleeding like this is the kind of bleeding you get after sex now not everyone gets this but if you happen to get this after sex and you know you have lubrication issues you're not properly properly lubricated then still it's nothing to worry about as long as that kind of spotting or bleeding or discharge is not associated with lower abdominal pain because if you happen to have the lower abdominal pain then you have to go and see your doctor immediately because you could be having what you call a PID the pelvic inflammatory disease now this is a very serious disease and the moment you get this you have to go and see your doctor then the other case when we get this kind of distance ladies is when you're pregnant when you have you know the early pregnancy yes it normally happens not for everyone but if you happen to have had unprotected sex you know in a few weeks back and of course you missed your period and you just see some spotting then it's very wise of you to get a strip and check if you're pregnant because there is what you call the implantation bleeding when that fertilized egg attaches in the uterine wall honey some ladies bleed so if you happen to see this kind of spotting get a strip and check if you're pregnant then you can still get this kind of discharge if you're already pregnant and definitely this you will indicate you could be getting a miscarriage but of course you need to see your doctor the other case where i get this kind of discharge is for the ladies that have hit the menopause 
some of them normally get this kind of discharge and this could indicate endometrial cancer the moment you see this kind of discharge and you're already near menopause and no longer bleeding then it's very wise of you to go and see doctor and get yourself checked just to be sure then the other discharge ladies is the yellow drain discharge now you should be very very attentive on this one this discharge first of all brings a frothy smell and it's accompanied by itching this discharge will make you have painful sex you will have burning sensation while urinating and the moment you see this kind of discharge just think of an fpr yes it indicates a sexually transmitted infection mostly known as trichomoniasis we have the other one gonorrhea but in most cases trichomoniasis is the commonest fpi with this discharge because for gonorrhea we as ladies rarely get symptoms so if you happen to see this kind of discharge get your partner go to the you go to the hospital get yourselves you know some treatment and of course after the treatment make sure you abstain for the next seven days you know to kill off the parasite completely so if you happen to see this kind of discharge go for medication as soon as, as possible this is managed and it can be cured because it's non-viral it's a non-viral sti then the other discharge ladies is the white discharge now the white discharge could be normal if at all it's a thin white you know kind of discharge and it's not associated with any itching or pain or something then that is very normal it actually happens sometimes during ovulation for some ladies and it's very okay it disappears if you happen to have a white creamy you know discharge that is like coated cheese then you need medical attention this indicates a yeast infection mostly known as vaginal candidiasis now this kind of infection is literally nothing to get scared of because the yeast itself is always you know in the vagina's normal flora but of course if you get exposed to something that rises its growth in the vagina you'll have this infection for example if your immunity is compromised if you've had a long time use of antibiotics you may get this infection now it is treatable by antifungal creams pessaries and tablets and you know that's it and then lastly but not least is the colorless discharge the good news about this one is that this colorless is normal the colorless discharge is normal and of course it normally increases during ovulation sexual arousal and if you're pregnant it increases in amount so once you have this discharge in small quantity of course it is nothing to worry about you're very fine as long as you don't have any odor or something it's very fine then that has this that has been for today hope you found this information helpful let me know what you think about the video tell me what you want to see in the next videos feel free to leave a comment um ask any questions give this video a thumbs up tell a friend to tell a friend to comment watch this video let them subscribe on the channel